Looking for something fun to watch? The KJ Today Show has you covered. We're bringing Hollywood to Indianapolis and positive vibes to our community. It's pop culture, people to know, and pets. Watch it happen live Wednesdays at 7 on YouTube or catch up on demand. Jay Today Show. So glad you could be here with us. As you know, we are your positive vibe show powered by PopCon and the Town Post Network. And Jana is feeling it. I think yep. got the I've dancing decided going on. that I'm no longer <laughs> gonna make sound effects on this show because last time I did, they've been used against me every time. What? What you're talking about? I will, I will, I will only be doing my Marie from now on. Uh, as you uh, are aware, if you're watching the comments, we got people checking in from all over the place with their crew number. This, my friends, is an interactive show. It is your show uh, more so than it is ours. Uh, we're here to make sure that you are feeling the positive vibes. So please uh, follow the to-do list. Get your crew number at kjcrew.com. That's crew with a K. Free to sign up, comment, interact, uh, give us some good news. We'll be doing Tell Me Something Good later in the show. And most of all, enjoy those positive vibes which are brought to you tonight by summer bash indiana love summer, those guys i know summer bash indiana indiana's only all-inclusive music festival happening july 14th through the 15th summerbashindiana.com we'll be talking more about that coming up later in the show uh also coming up later in the show we are so excited you know so many people here in indianapolis have been going to see hamilton and we are not one of them uh it, i watched it on disney plus i feel like that's the same uh, you know, <laughs> i have heard it's not the same but when you can't go see it it's close enough uh from hamilton tonight a very special Special guest James Monroe Iglehart, uh, who was also the genie in Aladdin, and he's going to be talking about. Uh, he does a lot of voice work, and he's part of the new hit show Kiff on Disney Plus, which is great, by the way. Are you watching? It? I watched it. It's very funny. <laughs> it's totally your vibe. Oh, I love it so much. I mean, when I saw the trailer, I was like, "This John is going to love this show." Uh, hello, Susan, crew number fifty-seven. Shelly, crew number five. I saw. Leanne, crew number 10 from Texas. Uh, let's see, Erina, crew number six from Pendleton checking in tonight. I do believe uh, our crew member who we are playing Don't Screw the Crew for tonight, Karen, mm -hmm. is from New York. And she has wow. like nine cats. And she also has dogs. She's our people. Nice. Yes. Nice. <laughs> so that will be coming up a little bit later. We also, uh, I know, Jada, you love when we have surprises, right? Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's me. Tonight, I made such a great surprise graphic for the uh, um, for your guy for the party on for, for, for the party last Friday. You did. It was so beautiful, and I didn't even get to use it. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, so in tell me something good we're going to be uh recapping obviously our good news is the fact that so many of you came out to our first anniversary party on friday night um i mean i i honestly like i i do these things and then i'm sick to my stomach for like a week thinking no one's gonna come that's true and so thank you and i jonna i've had I, I have had events where no one came. So <laughs> I have also been to events where no one came. Yes. So. <laughs> so to uh, have O'Reilly's Irish pub downtown uh, packed with uh, wonderful people full of positive vibes, the KJ crew out in full effect. It was absolutely amazing. So, so are you going to tell me who the surprise guest is? I'm, or? I'm not, I'm not. You'll, okay, it will, that's me. It, it shall be revealed. Jonna. I'm going to have to quit again. After what's popping, I will tell you so that you're not quite as stressed. 
it's not a it's not a live guest. Praise. Okay. All right. It's a it's another celebrity guest, which okay. is also going to lead us into another announcement for next week, which is our 50th episode. I, all day I've been saying the 50th anniversary. Like we went from first anniversary to 50th. <laughs> In a week. <laughs> wow. We're we like got, one year, 50 years. Let's right. go. We got a TARDIS and we, we, we took off and we're 50 years in the future. Yeah. Uh, now, Jim Belushi is going to be a special guest next week on the 50th episode. And we are going to be adding another guest, but I can't tell you who just yet because He's going to be here for a little bit of a surprise this week, Jana. Okay. All right. So to calm you down, Jana, while you're stressing about a uh, surprise guest and what's popping in pop culture, powered by Conquest Journals, let's get into a little bit of fun, a little segment we like to call Dumb, Dumb Jokes. Jokes. Oh, man, I loved it on Friday night, having a live studio audience. Honestly, it made my life so much easier because I didn't have to, like, shout out all the things all the time. It was so great. Uh, the, the show is up on YouTube if you want to watch the first anniversary show. It's a bonus episode on YouTube. And I just, like, the whole crowd, was. they all said it with me. They said, dumb jokes. It was great. Love having enthusiasm. So anyway. This is dumb jokes. Nobody's <laughs> being enthusiastic about it with me, even though, Jonna, I, I was. I thought you liked this segment. I do. I was. I didn't okay. know you were going to do it again. I, okay, I, here we go. In three, two, one. Dumb <laughs> jokes. We're never going to get Patches on board. No. I he, mean, he, no. he was he, he was a mess at O'Reilly's. Bro, it, it, it was it, great. And I know he's just sitting back there just waiting for these things. He's supposed to be like, he's the drummer. He's supposed to be like, but I'm pumped. But no, he's not. Uh, let's see. Here we go. If y'all could see the little box in Patch's face right now, man. <laughs> Patches, why don't you join us on screen? There we go. Are you ready, Patches? Do you think we maybe we'll make you laugh tonight? Maybe? No. Maybe? I, I think he's frozen. I think he's frozen. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. It's time for Dumb, dumb jokes. jokes. All right, dumb joke number one. Uh, Jonna, what do you call blueberries playing guitars? I don't know, KJ. What do you call blueberries playing a guitar? A jam session. <laughs> -da -da. No. -da -da. no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. No. All right, let's see if Patches likes this one. All right, dumb joke. What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? I don't know, KJ. What did the baby corn say? Nope, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. Oh, no, it's out of order. I don't have, I don't have number five. Well, uh, let's try this again because I can just uh, take two. Here, Jonna, here we go. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> okay. What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? I don't know, KJ. What did the baby corn say to his mama corn? Where is popcorn? <laughs> I had a really cute popcorn graphic. No. So listen, this show, it's its getting so intense with the graphics oh that our streaming service is like, you have too many graphics, you need Bro, to stop loading graphics. Literally. Yep. So it literally took one away from me. I didn't know. All right. Well, I have the graphics for the last two. Stream Welcome to our live show. Anything can happen. StreamYard said, I bet you thought. Including StreamYard being right. like, that's such a terrible joke. We're taking your graphic away oh, from man. you. Right. I'm but crying. I'm done. Okay. I have, I have two graphics. Here we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, dumb joke. Why did the orange lose the race? I don't know, KJ. Why did the orange lose the race? Because it ran out of juice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wait, hold on. Yes. I, I had one. Earlier you have a dumb joke? That I yes. It's a Marvel one. It's okay. the one I tagged you in earlier. Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, by the way, Samantha, uh, Samantha Becker, I like that idea. She said this is now the Do Not Laugh Challenge. So we'll have to see someday. Um, we'll give out a prize when we actually make Patches laugh with a dumb joke. Okay. Sound good? Okay. All I will right. say Paul did make me laugh at, at, at O'Reilly's. Do time. you remember what? Uh, I can't uh, remember the joke. But... Paul Miller's joke was? Because no. it did don't, make you laugh. 
It did. It, it did make me chuckle, and I can't. I can't remember exactly what it was, and I do Go feel check bad the tape, about guys. it. All right. Uh, yeah. Now, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Brandon Peters, for laughing at our Thanks, dumb Brandon. jokes. Jonna's arch right. nemesis. All right, Jonna, and for no reason. Like I don't even know how. Like we got into this whole like thing, <laughs> but like, uh, hang on just a second. We got a knock knock joke coming in. Okay. All right. Uh, all right hold on. Let's go. Okay. Uh, knock knock. Who's there? Uh, who's there? Okay. Nope. It's not going in order. I eat mop. I think it's I, I eat mop. I eat mop. Nope. I didn't get it. Sorry. We tried. All right. Yep, we tried, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Live shows. Love okay. It. Uh, all right. Here we go. Last one. Three, two, one. Dumb joke. What's Captain America's favorite drink? I don't know. What is Captain America's favorite drink? Iced Americano. <laughs> He was, a, he was a capsicle. Get it? You get it? Yeah. Nope. 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 All right. Nope, 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 As nope, always, nope, nope, if you nope. have dumb jokes, please submit them to me. Uh, tag uh, me in the dumb jokes that you see on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or wherever you are. Uh, send them to me. Uh, or, or post them in the comments. We love your dumb jokes. Keep them coming. As long as you keep the dumb jokes coming, we'll keep the dumb jokes coming all right uh john are you ready to, to catch us up we appreciate being in the loop with what's happening in pop culture and yes, john is be. our girl uh, uh john i work very hard for this before we get into uh, what's popping could you tell us you know like where did you come from like who what? are you what are you doing here a little bit about yourself okay. you know <laughs> KJ must be vamping for something. No, know. actually, I just, you know, like uh, people love you, but they don't really know, you know, you. Okay. So you, you, you grew up here? I did. I was born in Indianapolis, Indiana. All right. Uh, yeah. I, I have four siblings, two brothers, two sisters, soon to be nine nieces and nephews. Wow. Uh, what's your Starbucks drink? Uh, it is either a white mocha hot or a... A venti strawberry refresher with lemonade with light ice and no inclusions. Oh my god! Which I just heard that they're about to start charging you if you ask for light ice, which I think is ridiculous. What? Yeah, and if you ask for no water in your drinks, they're also going to charge you for it. Wait, now why would you ask for no water? Because it you get more juice. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, okay. I get light ice because I don't drink all of my refresher in one day usually, so I like to save it for like the next See, day, so it's so, not watered down. You know, someday somebody might be out and they want to get you your Starbucks drink, and now they know yes. that you're complicated, and none of us remember. It's not what that you complicated. Just it's just a strawberry lemonade refresher mm -hmm. with light ice and no inclusions. That means the inclusions means like the little fruit that they put in your drink. Oh yeah, I hate that because oh, it's all the, mushy. Oh. The stuff with bits in yeah. it. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, but I got my uh my dragonberry uh refresher once with no inclusions. Apparently, I didn't ask for no inclusions. They had no inclusions, and they they gave it to. Me and she's like, "It's gonna look weird, but it'll taste the same." And it was just, it was so sad. It wasn't pretty at all. I, just, I think my drink is very pretty without inclusions. Okay. But that's right. uh, right. I'm a Scorpio, and um, all right, yeah. Do yeah. you do you like long walks on the beach? I do. I love the beach. That's my favorite place to be. I wish I could be there. Um, all the time, but I, in fact, don't have a husband or a rich husband at that. So that's um... when people say they like long walks on the beach. Does it have to include someone else? I mean, like I, I, I would prefer to have someone else for safety. Ah, OK. That's, I'm, I'm safe. We're women. OK, we have to go in packs. Gotcha. You know, yep, I agree. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys, do you feel like, you know, John a little bit better? Are you happy now? You feel, feel more connected to John? Who like, asked that they who wanted to know more about me? Like who was specifically like, I need to right know here. more about John. Sam Jackson. Got to get that character development. Okay. Yep. Well, I mean, Sam's like my friend, so like right. we're gonna just ask. <laughs> we're gonna keep digging into to John. I'm gonna. She's like, are you trying onion. to set we're up my keep, dating profile? We're or gonna something? keep peeling back the layers. Getting I also to know like Jana. buying books and not reading them. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. All right, it is time for what's popping in pop culture with executive producer John, powered by Conquest Journals. All right, Jonna, what's popping? All right. Well, for all of my Beetlejuice fans, there is a new movie coming out next year. 
It is true. It huh? is, in fact, true. They okay. just announced it yesterday. Uh, Winona uh, Ryder. Tell me about the casting because there was a rumor. I'm hoping you're telling going to tell me it's true. Uh, Michael Keaton is returning, yes. and Winona Ryder is returning as well. And they are also going to have please, 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 please Jenna please, Ortega, yes, playing uh, Winona Ryder's daughter. Yes, that's yeah. what I was hoping yes. for. It's not a remake of Beetlejuice. It is Lydia. 27 years later okay. with her daughter. Can I tell you that um, I did not like Beetlejuice? <laughs> uh, me neither. It stressed me out real, real bad. Get um, out of our house. I'm sorry. It just wasn't. You I don't know. Love it, with me and it wasn't my thing. But for some reason, because they're redoing it with Jenny Ortega, I'm super excited. I love about Jenna it. Ortega. She's great. I yeah. mean, I loved Wednesday. So, like, I mean, right. you can't, like, right. she's great, you know? Yes. So, you know, Patches, maybe. I could we maybe we could try it again. Mm, You've never not. sat down with me and just been like, "Hey, I love Beetlejuice. Will you pr please sit down with me and watch Beetlejuice?" And it, I've it, also it, said, "I love Roadhouse. Let's sit down and watch Roadhouse." And you, you know what? Not. Patches so, has said that a couple of he times. He has never I said, do. "Let's sit down and watch." He has never been sitting down and said, <laughs> "How about we watch Roadhouse?" And I've said no. That's only that's because never I never happened. sit down. That's I've also never reason. said Ro I've also never seen Roadhouse, but that's besides <laughs> the point. Roadhouse. <laughs> the second Beetlejuice movie will be out September 6th of next year. Thank what? you. What? Pop it. Olympian Simone Biles is married. Aww, oh, look at that beautiful picture. She and her husband, Jonathan Owens, tied the knot last month in the courthouse, and she posted a bunch of pictures with that, and they just had their, like, full-on big ceremony in Mexico over the weekend. Oh, beautiful. Yes, and she is so small compared like I keep she like is. I was looking at pictures and I was like she is literally the smallest person compared to that man. <laughs> well, don't you remember I mean she was like super Oh yeah, little. she's so little. Yeah, very yes. little. Well, very uh, I like excited. the I like the little girls. Yeah. Uh, thank you, John. Let's pop it. All right. I probably I hope other people out there who love Shamar more as much as I do are very excited about this news. Really, this is all just news that Jonna cares about. It's, yeah, you're welcome. It's pop culture that Jonna cares about. Look, I, I don't care about Beetlejuice, but I told y'all about it. Oh, thank you. That's okay. all I'm saying. Uh, you know, I, right. I do it for the fans, okay? I do oh, it for the fans. We appreciate you. Yes, I do. And now we got now that we know you a little bit better, we can trust you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Fine. I didn't always... trust you until this point. Wow, it's been eight years. <laughs> and you've let me watch your cats. Okay. <laughs> all right. What uh, what's going on with SWAT? All right. SWAT on CBS was canceled, but <gasps> the fans were not having it. They said absolutely not. So CBS uncanceled SWAT. <laughs> really? And they are giving it a seventh and final season that is going to be 13 episodes. It is amazing that the fan bases have this power now. We did not have the. I know you. You know what I'm going to say. We did not have this when Firefly when, was around. When Firefly yep. was around, one hundred percent. If 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 we would have had the social media power that there is now, we could have saved Firefly and would still be on. I swear. Yeah. Well, you know, CBS is doing like a lot of weird things right now with all of their shows and things like that because they just moved nine one one over to ABC and now they're uh, they're canceling uncanceling SWAT for one last season. So they're having like a heart I don't know what's going on over there at CBS, but do y'all need help? Cast, right? right? Right. Literally like Shamar Moore was like, oh we're canceled. And then all of a sudden it's like, we're not canceled. Yay. <laughs> so weird. Uh Patches, did you have something to say? No, I I thought she was gonna go on about nine one one. That was actually a Fox show. Uh whatever. Oh, thank you for that correction. Look, cable television, okay. Thanks for that correction, uh, that's Patches. Actually, broadcast television. It but, is. You know. hey, thank you for that broadcast. correction, Patches. Anyway, any, any other, other corrections you would like for me to uh, <laughs> to make this evening? I just I want you guys to know you. that I don't claim to know everything. <laughs> what? Pop, pop, pop it. Um, Robert De Niro. Ooh, I'm interested. Um, he, him, and whoever the mother of the child is just had a baby. <laughs> He won't tell anybody who the mom is. Oh, really? Yeah, like I, every it's like rumored that it's like his girlfriend or whatever. But like he, I mean, wouldn't that be the most uh, reasonable? That would be the most thing? reasonable. But okay. like he's not confirming it. Okay, he just confirmed that he had another child. So now he has seven children. Wow, and this man is seventy nine years old. He's got a baby. Y'all, his oldest child is fifty one years old. Oh my god! And his wow. second youngest child is eleven. Wow! And he just had a baby. Wow. 
Good on him. You think he's shook. like? You think he's changing diapers and stuff like that? I highly. Robert De Niro. I feel like just probably has like enough money that he could just be like, ah, I'll come to the soccer game if I have to. <laughs> That's a and ways we'll off, just, you know. Right. We'll like just wheel him out in his chair for the soccer game. But yeah, I'm like, that'd be great. Bro, how are you seven? Like seven kids at 79, and now you just mm-hmm. have like a little. You just, I can't, I couldn't imagine. That stresses me out to know. Ah, uh, yes. Very stressful times. Uh, uh, Leanne, thank you for uh, bringing that up. Yeah, the the writer strike that we have going on. I support it. Who, but you know, it 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 may cause problems. I'm telling you, the last time we had a writer strike, we lost Chuck, man. And we never yeah. got it back. And now I mean, I... they already delayed um, writing for the new Stranger Things season. Mm-hmm. Um, all of the late night talk shows are just off air because they don't have any writers like Saturday Night Live, Late Show, all of that stuff. Like they're yeah. like, but I, I love that all the celebrities are like, no, like we support our writers like they should be getting paid like they make us look good. Yes. Uh, thank you, Rooney Cartoony, for the uh, What's Poppin'. She added in Good Omen Season 2 comes out July 28th. Yes. Yay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Always pop in with your own What's Poppin' because you guys, you know, are going to know more than we do. Right. Because I only care about What's Poppin' for things that I care about. All right. Like uh, Shamar Moore. Mary Beth, uh, crew number 21, thanks for hopping in here. Uh, we are so glad that you're here. You did miss dumb jokes and you uh, missed some uh, some shocking uh, reveals about Jana and her past. What? In my past? Okay. <laughs> Apparently that I'm untrustworthy and KJ's <laughs> let me watch her cats mul- and stay in her home multiple times. I'm talking about like I'm speaking for uh, uh, the the viewer when I say like, maybe uh, I don't know you well enough to trust you yet. I mean, I do, but you know, maybe, maybe. Look, if y'all don't trust me by now, then I, that's just, I, we gotta I, just keep, you know, I keep, can't. keep peeling back. Oh, uh, you know what, KJ, let's learn more about you since we're learning about me. We okay, can, what do you wanna know? Let's, I don't know, what's your book. favorite color? I don't uh, my favorite you don't know that it's blue blue tardis blue oh, man yeah. you and you and my mom with your yeah your blues oh uh rude uh just plain paul says i wouldn't say anyone miss dumb jokes wow that's rude mean. that is rude that's mean uh, that's my boy paul right there check <laughs> patches, what's that's your favorite color paul. Uh, yeah patches green really mm-hmm. yes. that surprises me you know i would assume that it's like bears orange or does something. it surprise you Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Actually, I thought it would be like orange for like the bears or whatever. Mm. No, no. Let me some orange. It's actually green and orange are probably my two favorite colors. So okay, that's cool. All right, my favorite color is pink. So you got to know the KJ Today Show a little bit better. But welcome to our party. Yes. Uh, What's Poppin' is brought to you by Conquest Journals. Conquest Journals? We will be talking about that in a moment. But first, oh my gosh, it is time for the surprise guest. My friends, I just couldn't wait to to bring this guest on the show. One, because what he's talking about is time sensitive. Uh, (laughs) Oh, okay. Uh, and I promise you, we will get more with Emilio Estevez uh, next week. Or uh, Patches, how, how did you say? How does Rob Lowe say it? Uh, Estevez. 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 Okay, Emilio Estevez. And so, he's known him literally like forty years. So uh, Emilio has a movie that is uh, being re-released. It came out in 2010. It is called The Way, and it is going back in theaters with Fathom Events on May 16th. So I wanted to let you know about that. Uh, But he hopped on a call with me this morning, and you know what, Jonna? Next week on the uh, 50th episode, we talk about cats. Okay. Uh, but tonight, oh, I'm so surprised. I wanted to share a little uh, clip with you because he had so many nice things to say about our little city. Emilio, how are you? I'm very well, KJ. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Can we just start off by talking about why, right now, this time, that it is time for the way to have this re release with Fathom Events? Well, sure. And, you know, I just have to mention that we were up in Indianapolis for the Heartland Film Festival, and we were honored by the festival for the Best Picture Award. So so it it holds a, Indianapolis holds a a, a really uh, warm place in our hearts. And and we really felt like the the film received some wonderful attention there. So thank you. First of all, 
<laughs> it was K. <laughs> it was KJ. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, just, he just has like, the Heartland Film Festival. Just clutching her heart. Like, oh my God. He said Indianapolis was so great. It's so funny. <laughs> so I, I changed the way that we record that we record with these celebrities. So now I'm on camera. So I thought, well, I got to share. Because sometimes, I mean, obviously sometimes I'm like, you know, like looking over like, oh God, what I'm going to ask him next. But there are moments where I'm like, oh, oh, and they can't see me. So funny. All right. So uh, we are going to have now, my friends, for our 50th episode next week, we are going to have Jim Belushi and Emilio Estevez. We're going to have both of them? We are. Yes. I know, right? I mean, so it's a milestone episode. Why not have two big stars on the show, Jonna? Um, you know, because that creates a lot of work for me. <laughs> Well, yes. I am like Chris Evans, okay? Producing is a lot of work. <laughs> uh, so, uh, show note, Jonna, I'll take care of Emilio Estevez if you handle Jim Belushi. I assumed that that's how it was going to go. That's how it's going to roll. Because teamwork, baby. Makes a dream yeah. work. Yeah. Boom. That's how we do it here. All right. What's Poppin' is brought to you by Conquest Journals. We've got special guest James Monroe Iglehart coming up. But first... Let's let Patches tell you more. Well, thank you very much, KJ, because what's popping in pop culture is powered by Conquest Journals, officially licensed fan art for Harry Potter, Supernatural, Friends, Shit's Creek, and more. Now shipping the very first Conquest Journals, Hogwarts 2023 and 24 agenda. Hogwarts Express notebook and platform nine and three quarters. <laughs> Shop conquestjournal.com and save 10% when you use the promo code KJ today. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know if you knew this. But the KJ Today Show is also powered by PopCon, celebrating all aspects of pop culture in one weekend. Oof. The inaugural PopCon Louisville is quickly approaching with celebrates, with celebrities, I should say. <laughs> Oh my God! With celebrates, like right with <laughs> celebrates, we just broke patches. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, celebrities like Scott Patterson, Emily oh Swallow, and Dante Basco, along with family fun and nightlife events to entertain all. Get tickets at Popcon dot. You hey, I'm Scott Patterson. Can't wait to see you at PopCon Louisville, June 16 through 18. Uh, thank you very much, Scott. And, uh, I cannot wait to meet Scott Patterson. Uh, I'm, I'm literally so excited. Very excited about that. <laughs> uh, Patterson, are you okay? Do you need like a throat lozenge oh, or something? I'm I'm the, are you sure? The comments coming in. <laughs> I haven't even looked One of them at them. Is Patches dying? <laughs> Who stepped on Bobcat? Who stepped on Bobcat Goldsweight's feet? Oh my god! Oh my god! I just had a police academy flashback. That's awesome. I Thank you, uh, musical director Paul Miller. By Ooh. the way, the full interview with Scott Patterson is now up on YouTube. All of my wonderful 13, 14 minutes, I think we spent together. Uh, we had highlights last week, but if you want to uh, just go enjoy uh, the full interview, Scott was so wonderful. He was live in his kitchen. It was great. Uh, YouTube.com slash KJ today and subscribe while you're there because we're like 22, 23 people away from a thousand subscribers. Can't even believe it. I'm going right. to take everyone in my family's phone and subscribe them to all of to our show. <laughs> Please do. Please Even do. all the kids. I'm going to be like, give me your phone. I know you have a YouTube page. 
All right. right. We are halfway through the show. We still have uh, oh, Don't Screw the Crew coming oh, up. Sorry, my mic's not muted. Sorry. We, we <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're only halfway through the show, Pat. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I, I usually keep my mic muted. That's my bad. Uh, but we're kind of running on. A, we're like a little bit running on schedule. So I like, know, I'm right? super proud of us. I'm, me John, too, I'm me trying too. to reverse like jinx us right now. All right. So I'm sh- trying to relax. Sh- and, you know, that was why, uh, relax, John, I wanted to, to you know, just give a. Uh, a little bit more of your character development, let people get to know you better. Just, you know, hang out with friends, right? Just gotta feel it. Feel good. You feel good? Yep. All right. What do you, you, what is Patches doing? I don't even know what's happening. He's got his own thing, man. However, he wants to feel his positive vibes. Namaste. I've started saying positive vibes, like was in the pause so much that I have trouble saying positive vibes now. I'm cracking up. It's like, I know she's like the punniest for person I know. <laughs> ah, but up, up. Hardy, har, har. Tell me you don't like yeah. dumb jokes when you're being pun man. Come oh, on. you are. You are one of the punniest persons I know. See how oh, I did there, punny fur. <laughs> See, really cats. Good. And I'm hanging yeah, up. No. How do you hang Let's up on going. this thing? <laughs> how do you get out of here? I'm all alone. <laughs> Just, just me and James Monroe Iglehart. Let's get to it. Uh, James was a absolute, uh, just a, a blast. Amazing. To talk with. And John, I had just as much fun editing it. And we hope you have just as much fun listening. Uh, we start off by talking about his show, Kiff, which is on Disney Plus. Yes. But still has some, I mean, it's adultish humor, right? I mean, fun for the whole family, but yeah, you can have fun as an adult. I mean, it's definitely like a kids type show, but I just love like the music and the like the characters. Like they're just so like Kiff is hilarious. Like the character, the main character Kiff is so. I literally watched it all like in one day. Oh, nice! They're only right. like thirty minute episodes. Well, let's let Hamilton star James Monroe Iglehart tell us about it. Well, and I showed the the trailer to my producer this morning, and her eyes just lit up, and she was like. This has a real adventure time vibe to it. Is that what kind of what we can expect? I mean, it, it, there's so many adventures that Tiff and her friend Barry go on. The animation is so tight. It's so much fun. And the songs are great. But trust me, it gets nutty. It gets ridiculous. And it all comes back to the family. And that's one of my, that, that was one of the things that drew me to it. Was the fact that there's this musical component to it as well with the original song every episode, was that appealing to you too? What's funny is I didn't hear the song when I first heard it. Uh, the, when I first saw it, the first thing that grabbed me was the visualness of it. I, when I saw what Bear, when I saw what uh, Martin looked like, uh, Martin is a small brown squirrel, and he's married to this tall yellow squirrel, and that <laughs> triggered me immediately in the most positive way because my wife is six foot four; he's taller than me. So I saw this little brown squirrel and his wife, and I was like. <gasps> That's me and my wife done, and I just, <laughs> I had to I had to do this. That's me and my wife. I'm I'm short squirrel. She's tall squirrel. I mean, <laughs> it's so it's so funny. Like his delivery, even as an animated character, is so funny. Oh my gosh, he, it's hilarious. He's perfect. My play Tiff Dad Martin. Um, he's a wonderful, loving dad. Emotional, enthusiastic. I love dadding. I love being a pop. I'm very opinionated, usually what I read on social media, but also I'm extremely <laughs> suggestible, which is um, really fun for my daughter, Kiff, who likes to totally, I'm a total pushover for her. And if it's not for my wife, Beryl, I would probably let her run the house. So <laughs> it's so much fun. It's exciting. It's funny. It's lighthearted. It's got great themes of friendship, family, joy, and it's really, really funny. So uh, Lucy Evans and Nick Small created a show put together an amazing cast of people. Simoko Glenn, who people might know from different shows, plays Tiff, plays Michael Corner, plays Barry, and my lovely wife, Lauren Ash. And together, we form the family. And trust me, you will not be disappointed when you see the show. Absolutely not. I he mean, is completely legit about this that. Is the, the, this is like the, the dream interview. You know? Right. I mean, because... I mean, I've been doing this for years and sometimes, yeah, I mean, usually it's, it, it's great. Right. But sometimes you get someone on and it's like, well, I didn't make you come on my show. Right. right? <laughs> like sell me on your show, man. Like he came ready to just hype up. Right. Kip. <laughs> well, I mean, you know that he puts like his dad character, like, cause he's a dad. So you can tell like most dads are pretty gullible, especially when it comes to their daughters, you mm-hmm. know, like on one of the episodes, Kiff is trying like, 
to go to school, mm-hmm. but she's like sick or whatever. And so the mom literally puts in magnets on the refrigerator. Kiff is tricking you. <laughs> so every time Kiff's like, I'm going to school, the dad's like, wait a minute. He looks at the fridge and he's like, no, you're not going to school. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, Jonna, am I uh, the next clip? Do I go to Mr. Puppy Paws or do I go right to the cats? <laughs> this is a great question. Are we going to Mr. Puppy Paws or the cat? Okay, let's do Mr. Puppy Paws because then, because in I'm pretty sure in that clip you find out that he has cats. Yes. So then we can go into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, a fan question about Mr. Puppy Paws. Beth said, "Ask him about playing Mr. Puppy Paws in Super Kitties because my four-year-old daughter absolutely loves him." I have the best time playing Mr. Puppy Paws in Super Kitties. Um, it's a wonderful show for preschoolers. Uh, it teaches you different lessons about life, and it's so much fun. And my little puppy uh, is, has a wonderful English accent, and he is very selfish because when you get a... You know, anybody who's had a puppy knows puppies are all very selfish. You have to teach them for like, hey, no, that's not yours. So it's so much fun to play this character, and I'm so glad kids are loving it because I'm having, I am having having the best time playing that dog. Well, I have to, I'll tell you, I was a little bit conflicted with the episode where Mr. Puppy Paws was trying to bury all the fireworks because he hates them so much, and the kitties were trying to stop him because my cats hate the fireworks too. And I was like, no, Mr. Puppy Paws is right. <laughs> I have five cats my own and i was very conflicted about that episode but i understood what the lesson was you can't take other people's in- entertainment you just have to accept it and do something different for yourself you can't you can't just take it for yourself that's how i think it but i do understand my cats hate fireworks too i mean dogs also hate fi- animals in general hate fireworks so i mean <laughs> i can understand it mr puppy paws i want to say thank you to uh Beth, the crew member that suggested that question, because I did not know that there was a a, a show called Super Kitties and the villain I, was Mr. Puppy Paws. I knew that. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I went and looked it up and I was, as you can tell, I was watching it for show prep. <laughs> to talk with oh yeah well, she was watching it for show prep okay. and then as as you may have imagined as he slipped in well you know you know i have five cats and Just they don't casually. like fire but they don't like fireworks either i was like um excuse me we need to go back to that yeah did you say you have five cats i do i have uh one older cat her name is zoe she's 21 years old wow which means she's 102 years old and then i have I have four rescues, two kittens and two elderly cats. And so um, I, I wanted to rescue them. Once the kids were out of the house, I told my wife, we, we decided we were going to help the elderly cats. You know, people never adopt them. So we were like, no, no, we'll, we'll, we'll adopt them. And here they are at our house, just living like kings and queens, girl. That is amazing. I, uh, I have seven rescues and my oldest one, uh, same way. We adopted her when she was... 10 she's a rat we think she's around 14 now and um you know i didn't know if if she was uh, gonna want to be around a bunch of other cats but man she's the the queen of this house and i i agree with you completely that adopting a senior cat is a it's it's more of a gift to you than it is to them i feel like um it's it it's very moving yes there's a there's a uh, a regalness to an older cat and they kind of look at the kittens like, slow down. You have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> and they're really fun. And as... It was the bougie voice for me. Slow down. You don't know what you're doing. So and yes, funny. this was recorded. It was actually recorded probably uh, uh, a couple weeks before Jaina passed away. So. Look, man. And I, t- I listened to that interview and I was like, I was like, this is such a good clip. But I just don't know if I should put it in there or not. And I was like, but other people. Like, we need to get the word out about senior cats. Like, they deserve love, too, you know? Me Absolutely. coming from someone who has a kitten. But, like, senior cats do deserve love. Just like, you know, senior dogs. Like, uh, old people deserve love, yes. too, guys. Absolutely. Jeez. Absolutely. And, I, you know, I'm I'm in a good place. You're not going to make me cry tonight like you did on Friday night <laughs> at the anniversary party. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but first, I know you want to know. You, you want him to talk about Hamilton, right? This is James Monroe Iglehart from Hamilton. 
Let's talk about Hamilton. Do you have any advice for a, a, a first timer? That's the unexpected because there are many fans who listen to the soundtrack and they know it. But the great thing about Hamilton is our great director, uh, Tommy Sale, tells us not play it exactly how you hear it on the soundtrack. You know, we, you, you let every actor embody the different characters the way that they kind of see it. I mean, you'll get what you, you'll get what you, you'll get, you're going to get what you expect, but you're also going to get the unexpected. So, you know, let go of the soundtrack and go in expecting to hear new voices and maybe some new intentions and just enjoy yourself because the great thing about it is the story doesn't change and the story is fantastic and it takes you on a wild, crazy, true adventure about one of our forefathers, Alexander Hamilton. But you are going to have a great time when you see it. Is it hard for you when you you do these productions like Chicago and, and Hamilton that have these long runs? Is it is it hard at the end to to let that go and know that it's going to carry on without you? No, I, not not really because I feel like if it's time for me to go, then it's time for me to go, and it's time for someone else to take up the mantle and do that because I know a new adventure is coming for me. So there's always a time and a place for everything. There was a time for. Aladdin, there was a time for Hamilton, there was a time for Chicago, and right now, I'm in Disney's Hercules playing Phil at the Paper Mill Theater, which hopefully will go to Broadway someday, so this is that time, and there's always a time for something, and it's funny going back and seeing the new people in it, you go, yes, this is your time, so it's that moment of passing the course with someone else to let their energy take over that moment and inspire the next person, so nah, it's, it's not hard to leave. Man, I just want to hang out with him. How inspiring. He's right? like, no, nah, man, do your thing. He's like, my, it was my time. It's your time to shine now. I know. I love it. I I, I loved everything about that. So hopefully that. Uh, Michelle, who is going to see uh, crew number 134, who's going to see Hamilton in Wisconsin this weekend. There was a little advice for you on how to enjoy the show. And thank you to James Monroe Iglehart for being with us. And thank you for being with us. Uh, we are going to get set up for Don't Screw the Crew. We still have the uh, I know you <laughs> we guys still have the pet I of the week you. coming up. Everybody's loving Jonna for uh, saying that seniors need love too. All people do need love too. <laughs> they do. They do. All right. Please uh, now enjoy a short kitty cam while we get ready for Don't Screw the Crew. you giving Grayson some love. He is definitely very relaxed. You good, man? I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, Amelia, for taking care of your brother. <laughs> Grayson, you are the Buddha cat, the most zen cat in the world. <laughs> I know you help him stay that way. <laughs> Listen. Me too, Grayson. Right? <laughs> like, yep. I just get to like. <laughs> Sometimes I also want to lay off the ottomans. And just, I'm just gonna, I'm right? kind of falling off here. <laughs> but like oh, how God. strong is Grayson's core that he was literally just holding himself <laughs> like that? Like I could no, never. Honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if if you saw the full camera shot. Amelia might have been like laying on top of his back legs to like anchor him Maybe. because she actually does lay on top of him. That's she so does. Funny. She does. Uh, you can always keep up with our kitty cats on social media, YouTube shorts. If you're on YouTube, I actually post uh, a lot more behind the scenes stuff with our cats on YouTube. So go to youtube.com slash KJ today or, you know, follow me on Facebook or wherever you uh, wherever you want to keep up with the positive vibes. Speaking of positive vibes tonight in Don't Screw the Crew, we have got a positive vibes prize pack. Jonna, before we completely get into Don't Screw the Crew, let's talk about what Karen is going to win tonight. Jonna, uh, show everybody what's on the line tonight. <clears throat> yes, uh, go ahead. John, use your British voice, please. Okay, I get, hang on. I, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get the character. <clears throat> okay, we've got this beautiful Storms and Melodies, Comic Remedies, KJ's new was re re recipe remedy remedy <laughs> recipe whatever it's brand new it's positive change. it is yeah 
It is so positive. You'll absolutely love it. And your kitty cats will love it as well. It is to help you when you're going through difficult times. As we all are, because this is the world that we live in. Thank you. What else? We also have most likely a signed <laughs> copy of KJ's book, Raised by Cats Behind the Mic and the Meows <laughs> by KJ McGlynn, your kitty correspondent. I will tell you, I read this book in one day. It's very, very quick read. 10 out of 10. I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad when they're like, it's a quick read. I'm like, did I not write enough? Well, it's only, <laughs> let me look. It's, it's a it's 102 pages. 102 pages. Well, and it's got lots of pictures. Well, it's, it's basically a picture book and we all love those. <laughs> Those are my favorite books until I got into chapter books. Oh, Jana, is there anything else? In the... And then we have this beautiful Storms and Melodies Calming Remedies t-shirt. Oh, goodness. I'll send you one that's not so wrinkled. It's Sorry about that. <laughs> She's going to steam it until it gets to you. And then it's going to be wrinkled again because it goes through the mail. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jonna. Our uh, our crew member tonight is Karen. She's crew number cat. 66. That Aww. is one of her nine cats. I love that kitty Aww. cat. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm She's got some puppy dogs, too. But I thought, you know, the, the, the positive change would be very nice to uh, keep around for her kitty cats. And I think she does and, some and foster. And she's finally here. That. So, yes. All right. Oh, no pressure, <laughs> Oh, no. The pressure. The pressure is on. Oh, All right. bloody hell. Let's... I want to keep my British accent. Through... <laughs> Don't screw the crew. Would you please? I will. Okay. Let's uh, let's do this. It's it's time to play Don't, Don't screw, screw the, the crew. crew. Wow. That was really Actually, nice, you know what? Guys. That yeah. you, British accent doesn't apply for that one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I still did it though. Oh. I, like, still, I, don't I was still committed to being the a character. Crew. Don't I mean, like, screw really. the crew. Yeah, it's. I, I mean, like, I it's can't. Negligible. Don't screw the crew. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably the best British accent I've. Honestly, ever heard that was do. a pretty good. That was, was yeah. pretty good for you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's right. Yeah, I yeah. Like just like, yeah, like I just, just think say, it's when you say "hello, governor," is hello. where I think that one phrase is what messes you up. Hello, governor. Yeah. You just sound like an American <laughs> trying to be British. I am right an American trying to be British. Well, you gotta own it. Uh, gotta you own made a right hash of it. Don't enough. screw. The crow, beautiful. Thank you. So that's okay. I love the <laughs> mouth movement. You're like over exaggerating. That's she awesome. tries <laughs> very hard. I am. I it's love very hard effort. for me. It's we so thank good. you. We it's love so KJ. Good. She's our favorite. I, I mean, if nothing else, uh, even if you don't like the show, know that I try very hard. Thank you. She does. All right, we've got three <laughs> questions here. Karen is watching. Please don't screw the crew. She's got nine cats. She good. needs some of this calming remedies for her cats. Uh, All right, here we go. All right, so uh, three questions. We've got to get two out of the three correct. If All we right, do, we don't screw the crew, and Karen wins her Positive Vibes prize pack. Let's All go. right, we are going to start tonight with executive producer Jonna. Of course we are. Executive producer Jonna. The category is music. Ooh. What artist with the nicknames His Royal Badness and the high priest of pop passed away in 2016. What? Can, can I get a repeat of the question, please? What artist with nicknames, including his royal badness and the high priest of pop passed away in 2016? Uh, I'm going to have a very bad guess here and I'm going to say Prince. Prince is correct! Yay! 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 Yay, I'm so excited for me. That was <laughs> you did it. You did it. Very nice. I was going to give you a hint if I needed to and say he was associated with a single color. Ah, Do you know what color that is? Purple. Very nice. Thank you. Yes. All right. Here we go. John is just going to stay in a British accent. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> so easy. So it's easy. Very All right. method. Here's the thing. So now we only need to uh, get one more right. Pressure is pressure is off Go a little bit. Patches. Here. All right. Watch, patches. it's gonna be like trigonometry is gonna be the category. <laughs> if KJ gives you a math question, I'll be so surprised. <laughs> I am rubbish at maths. I don't right. think KJ's very good at math either. So. Actually, KJ's quite brilliant at maths. I'm it must be a mom math. thing, because my mom is also good at math. Uh, I'm very good at math. Algebra was my jam. Oh no. I no. Just... If you if you if you're doing a proper British accent, no, it's thank maths. You. 
It's mass. mass? With no, plural. thank you. It sounds like we're going to mass, like we're Catholic and we're not. No, it's maths. I mean, I am, but it's different. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Here's the question for producer Patrick. I don't know what you guys are doing. Take here. it away, so KJ. All right. All right. All right. What? <laughs> question number two. Social studies. Ooh. What U.S. state is known as the golden state? Oh, I think I know that one. Uh, California? It is California. Yay! Yay! Woo! Woo! Congratulations, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, that's right. We got a winner. Here we go. <laughs> you know, it was great Friday night. We could not hear the sound effects going on. So everyone in the bar <laughs> literally did. <laughs> <laughs> it was so amazing. Really You're a was. legend, John. I and I'm legend. so close to quitting every single week. I'm this close. <laughs> So hey, close. Hey, uh, we won. Don't screw the crew. You can drop the accent now. Yes. Uh, nope. It's forever. Congratulations <laughs> to crew number 66, Karen, and her nine cats and her dogs, who are going to be so much calmer now that they are getting the Storms and Melodies Positive Change, which is available in my shop, stormsandmelodies.com. I pour them with purrs, love, and light. Me too. You, you have helped. I have you, helped. You have helped pour. Yes. 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 Sometimes. Sometimes it takes a village to pour these storms. Of Honestly, <laughs> I don't see how she does it by herself, if I'm being honest. It's a lot yeah. of work, man. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right. So uh, we've got Tell Me Something Good coming up. We have a pet of the week. We have a bonus cat. We are going to uh, uh, recap some of our favorite uh, moments from the first anniversary party. And we have, let's see. Uh, nine minutes to do it, but we've got something very important to share with you because Summer Bash is coming. That's right, because unless you're living under a rock, the KJ Concert Series invites you to Summer Bash, Indiana, celebrating 10 years. Summer Bash is Indiana's only all-inclusive music festival. Food, booze, camping, and of course, live music. Join the KJ Today Show at Summer Bash Indiana in Muncie, July 14th and 15th. Go to summerbashindiana.com. Thank you, Hulk Hogan. Thank you very much. Uh, band announcement, new band announcement mm -hmm. being added to the lineup. Uh, make sure you follow Summer Bash Indiana on Facebook. They're going to be making that announcement on Friday night. And, Jana, there are two rules. That's why we absolutely love uh, Summer Bash. Let's get uh, rule number one no glass is allowed. That's right. We got to be safe. And rule number two. Don't be a dick. That's right. Go to summerbashindiana.com. The KJ Today Show will be there. You can join us. It's going to be great. Hope to see you there July 14th through the 15th. All right. Coming up uh, this weekend, if you missed it, <laughs> we are, <laughs> we are uh, going to do a, an encore presentation. Boo the cat. If you did not see the amazing story of Boo being adopted by his media personality dad jake query you can watch that this weekend on pet pals tv and i gotta say thank you to uh jake and and also to boo because he had a whole bunch of churus i think boo is the only cat in the world who does not like churus i i couldn't believe it so he was like <laughs> he brought them out and he's like do you want these things because he won't eat them and i was like he's like i got a ton of them and it literally came around the corner <laughs> like i left I left our shoot with all of these churus. I love cats. that. And speaking uh, of uh, kitties, speaking of can pets? I do an impromptu kitty cam? Because this is this is what happens when Daddy does reads down here Aww. in the basement. She's just stressed in Studio her B. Blanket. Aww, yeah, she Melody Daddy. does. She is not a fan of Daddy doing those. She's voices. trying to calm you down. Yes, she is. Down, That's Daddy. why she has her own remedy named after her. Aww. Well, um, on Friday night we had our, uh, our our first anniversary party. Next what? week is the the fiftieth episode, so big milestones all around. Uh, we had some videos. I want to let everybody know who submitted their videos. 
and said like, such nice things to us. Patches and I watched it. We were having technical difficulties and Jada worked so hard to put it together. I worked so hard. You guys said such nice things. And we, uh, so we, we watched it and I, I, I think, you know, but I, I, I just want you to know that we appreciated it. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But I did want to share uh, one of the uh, highlights from the thank you video was uh, it was one of the cats who watches the show. I'd like to thank you, KJ, for introducing my parents to Cheerios. I now get them twice a day. However, I would like to get them more than twice a day. So any sponsorships or donations for Cheerios, I would gladly accept them as my parents have constrained the budget to two Cheerios a day and not full ones, as I have to share with Mabel. So if I could get two complete Jerus plus two more, life would be worth living. In. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell y'all, when they sent me that, like, because everybody was sending oh, me videos, God. and so, like, some of them, they're like, is this great? I'm like, this is great. And I, like, didn't even, like, watch them. And so I'm, like, going through, and I get to the Miller's video, and it's the, Aaron is like, it's a little unconventional. I'm like, oh, man, I bet it's great. And then I watched it, and I was like... <laughs> I was like, this is my favorite. <laughs> uh, Karen, congratulations on winning. She said, uh, Tasso, Tasso is the name of the gray cat that uh, we have a lot of cats on the show tonight. Uh, you know, I, I, Churu like owes me some free Churus. Yeah, if they you, do. If you are in the KJ Cat Club uh, on Facebook, which is a free group, I am. I am. I'm like a Churu pusher. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> they got socks eating that stuff now. Yeah. Oh, that was the only thing he would eat the first time he uh, when he first started coming over. Oh, yeah, that's true. So yeah. uh, uh, thank you very much, Ella, uh, cat of our uh, musical director, Paul Miller and the Miller family for that touching message to celebrate us uh, on our first anniversary. Uh, I want to uh, turn it over to uh, you know, Patches and Jana. Uh, Sam says it was a great night celebrating with you. Can't wait to do it again for the next anniversary. Oh, man, pressure's on. Absolutely. Uh, Patches, can you talk a little bit about, you know, uh, how you were feeling uh, reflecting on the first anniversary? Um, you know what? Yes, I can, because it was super surreal for me. Uh, you know, number one, thank you to, you know, everybody that, that watches and subscribes and is part of the KJ crew and, and the kind of nerdy network. Uh, it, it, it's, it really is a community together and especially thank you to O'Reilly's downtown, our, our friend, Joel, uh, he is, he has always been there for us and he is always going to be there for us as far as we know. Uh, and, and is always, a has always given us a place to, to share our platform of, of positive vibes and, and just happiness and putting it out to, to everyone that, that is willing to take in the positive vibes and, and I, I can't, I can't say enough about everybody and, you know, to Jonna and KJ and, and, you know, producer Katie or gamer Katie, how are we calling her on this show? I don't know. Emmy award winning. Emmy award winning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I did hold the Emmy. Yeah. Uh, did to, to the three of you as well, uh, along with, uh, Paul Miller, our musical director, and Grandpa Patches, our our uh, chief engineer. I mean, like what you guys have allowed us to create is nothing short of amazing, and it has been one of the craziest and most awesome years of my life. So thank you guys so so very much. That's oh, producer Patches. Patches. I know, right? <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm gonna quote Falcon right now. Did you did you write that down or was that off the top of your head? That was such a Captain America moment. Like, yeah, uh, channeling like minor Chris speech. Evans, right? <laughs> Uh, and uh, John, I do have. I don't have anything to add to that. My uh, gosh, Patch has covered it all. I mean, well, you and Patches are like the same person. So, I mean, you guys have been married for like a thousand years. So we have. That. Yes. Um. I mean, yeah. I just want to say thanks to you know the KJ Cat Club and the Kind of Nerdy Network and Emmy Award winning gamer Katie for 
being in cahoots with me for gifts for KJ and Patches. So many cahoots. Um, and so for cahoots. everyone who came out to O'Reilly's, because me and KJ have the same fear all the time is that we're terrified that we're going to do these things and nobody's going to watch. No one's going to show up. And you guys showed up in full force. Um, everybody was even there before me. And even my shredded guy from work came and I missed him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I, <laughs> he, was like, he was like so awkward when he came in. He's just like, I'm here for Jonna. I love and then, Jerry. And then I made it even weirder because I was like, you must be the shredded guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. You really talk about him a lot. He's, he's a nice guy. guy. He's a very yeah, nice guy. He's super and nice. He, yes. His name is Jerry and he now has a KJ crew number. Thank you, Jerry. He's an author. We're going to like exchange books and support each other as Absolutely. authors. So it was great. I mean, we made some new friends and, yes. and thank you to everybody that uh, came and Susan, I wish you could have been there too, but you know, we're going to have more parties. Go ahead, Jada. And I just want to say thank you to KJ for oh. uh, trusting me, even though, you know, she didn't know if she could trust me apparently at the beginning <laughs> of this show. But for trusting me to be your co-host and executive producer of not only this show, but of when you were on the mix by yourself and oh, of the myself. kind of nerdy girls podcast and every other thing that you've ever done, because I, I never thought that I would love doing what I'm doing. And you made it really easy to do that. So oh thank goodness. you. <laughs> well, I'm going to save some of this, like, yeah, some oh, of this and, stuff. And shout out to Grandpa Patches, number one, for saving me a parking spot and parallel parking my car because there was way too many <laughs> for me to do that. And I did get a parking ticket, but it was only 20 bucks. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pay it. Don't worry. Uh, oh, next week is the, the 50th episode. So I actually have some gifts for you guys. You guys are probably going to get tired of us like celebrating ourselves. Like, look at us. Look at us. As we should celebrate <laughs> ourselves. Okay. Yes. That's what my therapist wrong. would say. Uh, yeah. Right? So we'll, we'll be doing that uh, next week. Um, and uh, thank you. I'm going to uh, make a post and, and share some of the the stories and my feelings and the stuff that was going through my head when the um, the KJ's Cat Club and the uh, kind of nerdy network presented us with this wonderful uh, memorial tile of, of Jaina and it'll be going up in the Grateful Rescue Welcome Center when that breaks ground and they raised money for Grateful Rescue and they made a donation to Indy Neighborhood Cats. So it was just, it was a really moving night for us. So uh, that is our... Tell me something good. And KJ got a super dope canvas. I did. I just, did. I yes. I will be, it will be hung canvas. up next week, John. Yes, I can't yes. I can't wait for you guys to see it because I, I spent so much time trying to find the It'll be perfect unveiled. picture. It'll be unveiled on the 50th episode, okay. John. I I worked real hard on what picture I was gonna put on that thing too. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're we're over, but we still got some good news and a pet for you. Let's yeah. do this. It's time for tell me. Patches, we don't have time for this. You're, Sorry, my mic. That was a legit. He wasn't even saying like, anything. His it no, wasn't that, even my, that his mic. I was mic watching was like him. Legit muted. Liar, liar. I, sw I swear to you. Liar. An anyway, all right, here we go. It's time for tell me me something. Nope, I don't like you. Do, do, do not like. I don't like it. <laughs> do not Thank like. You. All right, it's time for tell me something. Good. Thank you guys so much. Uh, put your good news in the comments. Celebrate each other as we celebrate Tony, who starts a new job on Monday. Good luck to you, Tony. Thanks for sharing your good news. We celebrate Heather, who says, I'm attending my first book convention this weekend. Heather, I need That's you to exciting. friend me on Facebook and tell me about this. Right? What's the book convention? I need to know. Uh, we are working on more authors for PopCon. We're going to be expanding the uh, author area. I'm job. glad, but I'm yeah. I'm worried about me going to a book convention right now. <laughs> and Victoria is telling me something good. She says, my son bought his car, saved for two years working at Charleston's. Love that place. So proud of him. I've never been there. Nice oh, ride, really too. Good. Very nice Charleston. ride. Yes, yes. Thank you guys so much. Uh, follow me on Facebook because we do ask for your good news on Tuesday and then we share it with you on Wednesdays. And sometimes people are like, hey, I've got some good news, but it's not Tuesday. 
like I always want good news. <laughs> like always share your good news. I love it. Uh, and of course, we always end the show with our favorite way to bring you some positive vibes with the positive vibes of the pet of the week. Meet Bean, our pet of the week. Beans Tiberius is uh, the full name of Beans. Grandmom's name is Kathy, and she says uh, Beans' nickname is Beansy. Sometimes when Beans comes in from outside, he runs through the house, and they have to look and say, look how fast he is. He's so fast. <laughs> and that makes him go faster. Look at him with that little baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh, when they are at the dinner table, he does come out and try to eat, and someone will say, Beans, why are you in the kitchen? And he looks right at grandma as if saying well you are supposed to share your food with me she says we refer to beans as my granddaughter's brother and he really does think he's a human thank you so much for sharing beans with us and again follow us on facebook for your chance to have your pet be the pet of the week thanks for checking in again michelle hahn at crew number 134 remember to get your crew number and join us next week for the 50th episode with Jim Belushi and Emilio Estevez both on the show. I can't next week. I what? Know, right? I can't with you guys saying Estevez. I don't know. That's what Patrick said we needed to say. That, I'm that's his name. I'm is going I'm Emilio going, Estevez. I'm going, I'm going by the pronunciation of one of his oldest friends. So that, I didn't that's have time all. to ask him. I didn't have time to ask him. So just, anyway, but we didn't talk about cats. Yeah. <laughs> so surprised. <laughs> all right. We'll be a little late because the show is running a little late, but meet us. <laughs> oh Facebook my God. Are you for, kidding me? <laughs> for the official <laughs> after party, what's cooking with patches and the cats. <laughs> Dude. You are so welcome for finding that picture, Patches. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, well I didn't played, even well realize played. that I used the same oh picture as you. <laughs> You're like, did you like you, you didn't like that picture with the W last week? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I used that picture for what's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I tried to use funny pictures in the open lap. My picture was cute because it was oh me and Chris God. Evans, because I just want to use that all the time. <laughs> but for KJ and Patches, I was like, I gotta find good, funny pictures of them. <laughs> and I saw that one of Patches and I was like, that's it. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, we'll oh, meet you God. at uh, Facebook.com slash KJ on the air. We'll meet you in the kitchen oh, right after the official end to this show. Woo! Our world famous end credits. Here we go. <laughs>